what we would like to know firstly uh, when did you come across this turmeric patent issue and what was your first reaction to it well i uh, remember being in delhi mm -hmm. uh, as director general of csir and it was in the year 1997 i remember as reading times of india and uh, there was a newspaper report by a correspondent uh, his name was n suresh if mm -hmm. i remember correctly and uh, that carried a very surprising news that uh, uh, the wound healing properties of turmeric uh, were patented mm -hmm. in united states of america and i said how come <laughs> because patents are always granted when there is something new there mm. is something novel uh, they are not granted if three criteria are not met novelty non obviousness and utility mm. and i said obviously this cannot meet it because uh, this has been used for centuries by our ancestors uh, for wound healing and for several other medicinal purposes and my memory is went back to 1993 by the way mm -hmm. in uh, national chemical laboratory i was then the director and i remember in the evening i my mother my wife and my son ame we were on the terrace in the evening of a summer and suddenly a bird came and fell it had a broken wing hmm. so i remember my mother instantly got up and went down the stairs hmm. and brought a paste of turmeric and applied it to that wing oh and that has stuck in my mind in fact that incident was very painful because that bird died after a couple of hours we had all fallen in love with the bird and i remember giving him Uh, a burial where all of us were practically crying. So that was in my mind. But what also struck me was the great Indian tradition, culture, heritage, where we don't just uh, look at human beings as live beings or as symbols of life, but everyone around us, including the plants and uh, animals and the rest of it, anyway, so the true. birds and so on. So that memory was stuck in my mind, and I said, "This is not done." So this was morning, mm -hmm. and in the evening, I was giving Hussein Zahir Memorial Lecture in National Physical Laboratory, and uh, Professor Aksar, uh, P. N. Aksar, was the uh, principal secretary to the Prime Minister. He was uh, chairing that, and I declared that I am going to fight this battle. What was the response you got from our nation? I'm sure you would have got awards and felicitations after that. This is a very gracious nation, you know, uh -huh. and I received enormous uh, response from all across. First thing was the sense of pride mm -hmm. that we have done it. Second was there were of course formal recognitions in terms of uh, uh, awards and right. felicitations, but also response from the society in a very natural way. The first uh, individual. Uh, to felicitate me was uh, Shri Pendarkar. Oh. Vico, you know, wow. we are all very proud of uh, our products based on uh, Vico, uh, as you know, Vico right. Vajradanti and uh, uh, creams and creams, yeah, yeah. turmeric-based yeah. uh, products, etc. And we are very proud that uh, uh, Vico had pioneered, let us say, uh, these products. So he, as a matter of fact, uh, invited me for a felicitation in Mumbai. and professor gangadhar gargil mm -hmm. famous economist who was my childhood hero by the way i used to read his books <laughs> yeah. uh, he was asked to sort of preside over the function and mm -hmm. we had a wonderful function i would like to know about the argument on the subject traditional knowledge base and this beautiful term we came across uh, laboratories of life what is it all about yes uh, see we always feel that great discoveries great breakthroughs great innovations are done in formal laboratories like harvard caltech princeton university of pune national chemical laboratory etc that is not the case hmm. inventions happen practically every day i believe that we have what is called as laboratories in every home every field in every farm on every road every street and i also greatly believe that everyone is someone Uh, it could be an artisan it could be a farmer it could be a school dropout it could be a housewife mm -hmm. even in our own homes in the fields inventions happen we call them grassroots innovation by the way mm -hmm. 
and they happen not in formal laboratories but in informal laboratories of life now what has happened is that we disregard that as mm. something uh, that's not uh, knowledge mm. that is wrong we have to give recognition so all my life i have worked on this whatever ancestors have done the ancient wisdom that they have created the sushrutas of this world the ayurvedas of this world etc become very very important on the basis of which we can build our future that is the importance of uh, the work in laboratories of life according to you where does um, ayurveda stand today and hereafter and what are the opportunities in this area i think uh, as far as i am concerned despite being a traditional scientist i have had a great faith in traditional knowledge of which traditional medicine is one part the only difference is that the traditional medicine that has been developed of which ayurveda is a very important part has been by centuries and centuries of experience which converts itself into knowledge itself into wisdom so it's a different form let us say of knowledge that does not mean that it is less important than the traditional forms of knowledge ayurveda is according to me uh, the most uh, uh, i would say valued treasure that our ancestors have created Uh, the modern society has understood the importance of uh, ayurveda and i find that uh, ayurveda not just as general practice but businesses have been created vico is a, a very brilliant example of that so you are truly an inspiration to every indian thank and thank you so much for taking out time for us from your busy schedule and sharing a part of your wisdom with us thank you thank you so much thank you, thank you. <laughs> sir has done a great job by starting this movement we all can take a step forward and contribute to the betterment of our nation please do share this video with your friends and family and let's inspire the change on everyone's part and hey don't forget to subscribe everything your skin needs is one ingredient turmeric get blemish free luminous skin because a great ingredient gives great results vico turmeric if it's turmeric it's vico turmeric